Okay, folks, as I promised you, this is Jeff from RV Don Oscar's continuation on the water heater. Yes, it's an Atwood. Um, but most of the water heaters are very common in nature, even some of the water colors. So, this is a continuation. Now, what we got here is we're going to go over the valve assembly, the gas valve. We already went over the circuitry, the brown circuit, which was the overheat switch, thermal overheat switch, which is normally closed. We went over the T-stat, which is up against the aluminum tank itself, so if it gets too hot, it turns off. I believe that was 62 degrees Celsius. And we went over the safety circuit of the Echo, which is the emergency cutoff. That's in prior videos to this, so if you want to learn about how to troubleshoot them, you go back to those videos. But this one is about the gas tube camera. Now I'll turn the camera around. Here we go. Remember that system was setting in there like that. Okay. Take it out. We already went over the ohm value of these redundant gas solenoids. All right. Um, for your safety reason, I would change it all, but I have in the past done just as the solenoid bobbing windings, which are the plastic part and all. All right, so here we go. Now, we got an amp meter hooked up, and it's zero amps right now. I got it on the 10 amp scale, okay? We figured out these was 20, right? So 20, or two goes into six, two times, right? No, 20, two goes into six, six times. So, it's actually 20, so it'll be about 600 milliamp draw, or 0.6 of an amp. Another way to test them. But we're just going to do this. One, I want you to listen very carefully. The solenoids click. They're redundant. That means there's two of them for the gas to flow. Here we go. And we're going to close it. We have 12.6 volts. We have about 0.58 amps. Remember, 20 goes into 12. 0.6 times. That's pretty darn close. Now, as these solenoid windings heat up with their continuous duty, and they're getting warmer, you can feel them. All right, maybe you should have a power meter gun for you to show you the temperatures rising. Well, how you can tell the windings are getting hotter because the re amperage will come down. Electrical resistance goes up when temperature goes up on a natural coil winding. Okay, look at that. All right, but listen, ready? I didn't mean tapping it. That's me barely touching it. So that's the gas flow. Okay. All right, I'm going to put you on pause, and I'm going to show you something else. Okay, here we are. I'm going to blow into this, and hopefully you can hear it. I got the volume turned all the way up on the uh, microphone. So it doesn't matter where I ground this. Okay, ready? You heard that? And I'm gonna put it down. Oh, I wish I didn't make that noise. Hopefully, you could hear that air flowing. I know the camera moved around a lot, but there you go. So, it proves that the ohmonic value, or how many ohms, are the upside-down horseshoe. For you people just learning, it's fine. A lot of my RV people out there are doing well, saving thousands of dollars a year by using the website www.rvdiagnostics, that's plural, diagnostics.com. Um, there's two types of membership. All right, which is basic, and there's premium. So it depends what you need, what you think you need, full-time, part-time. I'm there for you. Um, you go to the Facebook page, RV Diagnostics. You go to announcement section, and you'll see many, many, many satisfied customers, or I shouldn't call you customers, members. That's what you are, because I'm meeting some of y'all. A lot of you stopping by here saying hello. I'm down here at Seaford, Delaware. I know some of you in California probably won't see you, but I'm trying to make it to Florida. Well, this is the short video on that gas valve assembly. I'm going to disassemble that. 
for you and go over some basic things like especially some newer models like after 2008 uh, the quality of them kind of dropped a lot of people are cutting copper lines plumbing and they're not blowing it out the debris the shavings and this stuff gets up in the orifices the very small holes and it'll make you go crazy troubleshooting that water heater or the propane type heater all right, so thank you very much. We're going to the disassembly after this. Once again, thank you very much. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics.